Hi Karen, it's quite unusual. You were first a, a client of Liferay with Sesame Street, and then you became a, a staff member. You worked for them. So how come that uh, you made this decision? Uh, well, I've worked with Liferay for over six years uh, as the project manager at Sesame. So initially, we selected Liferay after we did an evaluation for some other softwares. And uh, when we started the implementation with Liferay and throughout the process, I really started to have a great relationship with the team, with the teams that supported us. Uh, they listened to the changes and enhancements that we wanted, and we really worked as one team. Mm -hmm. And throughout the years, of course, we kept on developing the product and moved throughout uh, the phases of the project. And I really felt kind of like Sesame had a lot to contribute, and Liferay always listened. So it was kind of a very easy transition to move to the side of Liferay and really uh, now talk to the clients as a client because I do have the experience and I think I can talk about their experience uh, directly with the software as well with the uh, with Liferay itself. So it was very, very um, uh, positive move for me and I felt it's kind of like staying in the same family at a different role. All right, can you tell me about the Liferay portal application and platform? Uh, what was the main positive feeling that you had as a client and as a user? Uh, it, 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 it was uh, involved. We were looking for an open source solution and Liferay really came with uh, most of the functionalities that we needed out of the box. So the investment itself initially wasn't as tremendous as it would go with any other software. But in addition, they were able to work with us and make the changes for what we needed, whether it was to use a workflow or a scheduler or versioning for documents. And even if it wasn't out of the box, they worked with us to make sure that it will be on their plan for the next release or they helped us with some custom code and then they included it initially. So we really felt like it's a collaborative effort and everything we needed was uh, was open for discussion in a very positive way and the, the, it was extremely successful at the end. This is very interesting. Now you will be also in Montreal to speak about the Life Red Social Office, which is the, a new platform and a new product for internal communication in the enterprise. Right. Yeah. So tell me a little bit uh, what you, you will be presenting and what is your take about this uh, application? Absolutely. So, uh, Liferay Social Office is actually a new plugin that we introduced uh, not too long ago. And what I really like about it, it actually offers this collaboration inside your organization between everyone. And I know myself from my experience, there's not one tool that I was able to use and collaborate, whether it's uh, through my calendar or whether it is sharing documents. And Liferay came with this product, which is very mm -hmm. lightweight that you can actually put internally and communicate with everyone, different department and different groups, share information. And it's more like a dynamic team workspace where we can all work together and share information. And it really puts all of us very close. Even though we sit in the same floor, we have a very large office. So here I am, I'm able to chat. I'm able to uh, ping anyone that I need to read their information, to check the versioning of their document, to check their calendar. Uh, task management, all these things are extremely helpful for a day-to-day -day task for everyone in the organization. On the logo of Liferay, there is a, a sentence which says uh, open source for life. So uh, I want to know if uh, you are open source for life too and why? Absolutely, and I think I'm very proud to be part of that community because um, open source and having such a large community that involved and are actually helping us to produce a better product and to give a better service as well as solution to our clients. That's what it's all about. It's not about what we want. It's what about the client wants and how we can change that and how can we listen to the community and contribute more into the product, the software, as well as the people to make it a collaborative effort that everyone can actually participate in. Mm -hmm. I can tell you also that at Savoir Faire Linux, we are very, very glad and very proud to be part of your community and that will be uh, more than happy to have you with us uh, uh, in Montreal at Anthracom. Thank you very much, Karen. Thank you. I'm looking forward as well.